So basically, I was playing just some events, I guess, trying to farm gems, and just now the new mini box came out, and I kind of forgot it was coming me out today. So I thought, let's just review the cards. All right, let's see what the you are first. Um, it's pretty good you are. It can destroy monster and inflict damage. Ooh, that's ooh, that's pretty good. Equal to the monsters. It's not halved. That's that's actually surprising there. Since they half every other attack thing. I didn't actually expect them to do that, I'm gonna be honest, but props to them I guess. Then we have Coach Soldier Wolf Bark. Um basically just um Summon Fire Beast Warrior. It's decent, I guess. We don't really have much Fire Beast Warriors except like. Oh, what's it called? There's called. Um, Fire Kings and. Uh, no, wait, no, that's not Warriors. <laughs> um, it's. It's the Fire Archetype. Uh, the Beast Warrior Archetype. I don't remember their name right now. Probably remember them later, I guess. We have Rekindle, which. It has the potential to be broken when the, um, the fire archetype. Still don't remember the name. I think. Uh, what's it called? Uh, I'll have to search it up later. I don't remember. It's gonna be busted when the archetype gets support. We have. Battling Boxer, I guess. It's coming to Duel Links, which. In itself. This card is decent, I guess, but. Balance box isn't real something to just strike home, but we finally get the Haze of Flame XYZ, which it's a good, it's pretty good for the Hazes. Basically, you get well two of this number six, which is pretty easy now because the other support to get there, and you attach for two hundred for each, so that's immediately six hundred extra, so three thousand one hundred. That's gonna be Ooh, that's gonna be good. Core, it can't be destroyed by. No, it can't be targeted by performance card effect. Five, it can't be destroyed by card effect. I have a feeling this, this is gonna be a staple in his room stacks. This is almost guaranteed to be staple, but. Would it make Hazy. Ta uh, tier on the tier list? Probably not, but. Might, might make it a rogue deck, I guess? We have Violent the Sigma, which it actually looks pretty cool, but um, free level force. The only archetype I can think of that can basically just bring this out is Tell Knights. And they actually get a new XYZ at least, or in some sort, because it isn't specifically for them, but it helps them invertedly. Or oh, have you said it what? So it's pretty good. You basically just equip a monster to this card, and if they, there's a similar monster with the same attribute, it gets destroyed. Which in duelings is pretty often that someone would have the same attributes as other cards in the same archetype. So I can see this being a good like extra monster if you can bring out level fours. Then we have some more bad boxes, which I don't think will be meta at all. We have the last Fire King Avatar support. Or well, I think it's lost. Might have some like Link Monsters or Sentinel or something, I don't know. I haven't looked into this archetype too much. I think if I remember correctly this is a pretty decent card for Fire King, but honestly I don't think you will make them it it kind of expired already because Fire King isn't a good deck anymore. If this would have come out with the structure deck, then it would have been a good deck for like a while or a little longer. But since it came out so late, I don't expect this to be that meta defining. Then we'll have Star Drawing. Uh, it's probably gonna be seen in the 
Go 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 or whatever it's called. The that deck which just special summons Utopia and Cowboy and all the XYZ monsters. It would be pretty good in those decks, but I don't see any use otherwise. We have more battle boxers, X Y C Wrath. Which is basically just a negate for XYZs. They're all level 5 or higher. Which, I, if they just made this a. It's rail trap instead of a continuous. I would probably say it would have been more. Better, I guess, but. Hmm, that's just my opinion. We have Prideful Roar, which. I think it's just a. Was super head. What's it called? Rush headlong or something, which basically just destroys the opponents before they even the damage phase or damage step. I mean, then we have some bad boxers and number 19 Prison two level five. Once per turn, if an XYZ monster you control will be activated, an effect by destruction of XYZ materials, you can detach one. Oh, okay, so you basically just this is just pay someone else cost, I guess. Which is okay. Laval Ignis. So I guess we have Laval support too. Gains five. That's that's not real that good. <laughs> uh, basically, just uh, what's it called? It just gains five hundred, which goes up to two thousand three hundred. Which is real not that good. <laughs> it's once per turn, isn't it? Yeah, once per battle. That's not even better. Once per turn, detach one XYZ. It's just Ignis. But it has better stat line, I guess. So, it's something. Then we want Battle Boxers. More Battle Boxers. There's a lot of Battle Boxers. Oh, and we have some more Hazy Flames. <laughs> Oh, so you can special summon this from your hand by just having fire monsters in your graveyard and in your field, I guess. Yeah. It's pretty good for Hysis, I guess. We have Laval Judgment, which is uh, pretty shit. You just inflict 500 in counter attacks. Uh, it's not good. We have Hasty Pillar, which. It's gonna be staple, at least one in Hasis, even though they don't like running spell and traps. Because they're. I think it's Sphinx that has the effect to just. If you got right, you just can special summon a Hasty Flame Monster or something. I can see this only being played one, but I don't actually know. We have more Balan Boxers. More Balan Boxers. There's a lot of Balan Boxers in this. Oh, and Hydra. Uh, so basically, this is when it's used for an XYZ, you can get the effect to attach another Haste Flame from the grave, or no, it's all in the grave, which is still a pretty good effect because then you could mix it up with this and gain one more. You go for the three, or you might be able to go for the four. Same with this, I think you can attach, yeah. So you basically have a little number four already. Plus the four no eight hundred attack, which is kinda good. Then we have Flame Well Fiend, which is uh, <laughs> it's not good at all. <laughs> I don't expect it to be any good, good. Flame Well Commando, um Oh do you have to tribute it with Flame Well, which uh Unless they have more support, I don't think this is not even going to see play. Arcana Archer, uh, inflict 200, no, that's, that's, that's fucking bad, that's bad. <laughs> when this card is destroyed, the monster and sends it to the graveyard as a result of battle, inflict damage to your opponent's life one equal to the level times 250. At, at 1000 attack, uh, I don't think this is going to do much. Needle Barrel. Uh, this, this card destroys monster. So, uh, it's the same as that one, but it has better stats. Uh, but it requires a tribute, which. Ooh, it's not good. And then we have the OP card there. Flame Dance, my boy. 
This move on the moves will swing his burning rope. Dude, th this is the OP. This is the best card in the deck. Or in the box. <laughs> I might actually go straight to it just because of it. And then we have um, Final Flame. Yes. Uh, it's a better Sparks, I guess. Masaki, 400 life points. Meter destruction, 500. Ooh, that got knocked pretty heavily. We have more hasty flames. I think this is reprints. I um, got yeah, it's a reprints because I already have some of them. Uh, target with uh, oh, you, you basically just increase this by three hundred. Yeah, that's not that good. Here's one of the common pieces of hasties, which I think is uh yeah, yeah. This is one you basically just special summon with. After you swing to special summon this, you can special summon another card. And then we have Laval Lance Lord. Oh, okay, okay. So it basically just you can add one of your Lavals back to your hand, I guess. Uh, it okay. Burning Spear. Five months equipped with this card increases its attack by four hundred and decreases its defense by two hundred. That might be actually be useful because if you remember. We have Rekindle, which has the 200 restriction. If you decrease some by 200, it. No, wait, no, that's gonna not gonna work because it's already on field. That's for shit then. Haze Flame Cerberus. Uh, normal summon this without tributing. 1000. This card is destroyed, send graveyard. You can add one Haze to your hand. And then Haze Flame Manticore, which. Um, Oh, you can send one fire monster, except this card from your hand, face of field, and you can't be destroyed by card effect. For this turn. Ah, yeah. Aval Blaster. Shoot one to five, then send that many cards from top of your deck, and this gains two of hand. Ah, uh, it might be good to set up the graveyard, but there's probably better cards. This card gains. All Aval gains 300. If this card is sent to the grave, okay, that's that's decent, I guess. Tribute on fire monster, except this card, special on fire monster from your hand. If one monster special summon, but its effect destroyed if placing here or is removed from the side of the field. Uh, hmm, okay. And then Hazy Glory, which you can basically just normal summon a Haze Flame from your or one less tribute, which is basically just you can normal summon it without tributing. I guess, and target one hasty card in your graveyard, except hasty glory, add a target to your hand, if this card is sent to the graveyard. So, would I recommend anyone summon on this? Not really. They have some niche cards, like Fire King Avatar, I guess, and Rekindle, which will be good in the future. But as it stands right now, unless you're a big fan of hasties, then I wouldn't recommend it. That's basically my thing. I'll see you all later. And take care.